Welcome to our video on how to report your blue crab harvest using the FAX e-reporting system. As part of the electronic reporting program, you will be required to send a trip start hail and a trip end hail for each day that you crab. For today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the mobile version of the website, which is formatted for better viewing on smartphones and tablets. However, you can also send your trip start hails and end hails using the portal version of the website, which is formatted for better viewing on a laptop or a computer. So to first start things off, I need to log on to my fax account. I'm going to enter in my username and my password and click the blue log on button. This will take me to my main page and I'm going to select the enter and revise hails button. At my fishery selection page, I'm going to click on blue crab. And now we're going to see our current trip details page. Here we have a few options, but we're going to select the first one, which is start a new trip. Next, we're going to see our trip start details page. As you can see, several of the items are already filled in for us. This is because FAX remembers what we saved in our preferences and fills this in for us so we can reduce our time in reporting. So we have our hailing date, our license number, our VRN, which is from our preferences. However, if we want to change it, we can either click on it for a drop down or go on add, edit, or remove. Next, we have our crew count. Remember, this is the number of people on your vessel other than yourself. So today I have one other person helping me out, so I have one in there. Next is our gear type. Today I'm going to use crab pots. However, if I wanted, I could click on it and select one of the different options for gear. I'm going to move down the page. Next is our landing details section. Here we're going to estimate the time that we're going to go back to the dock and offload our harvest. So for me, I'm going to set it for 2.30. In our landing location here, I already have mine set up as my dock. However, as before, we can change it by adding, editing, or removing it. If we move down to the bottom, we can click on the blue send trip start hail button. And this will take us to our current trip details page. Here we have a few options. We can send our trip end hail. We can revise our trip start hail. So if we have any changes, please go in and update the information. We can also have the option of canceling our trip. However, you cannot cancel a trip if you have harvested. Once we're done here, we can go back to the main menu and log out and start crabbing. Once we're done crabbing for the day, we're going to log back into our account. We're going to go back to the enter and revise hails button. We're going to select our fishery. And now we're going to click on the send trip end hail button. Here we're going to have our end hail details. We're going to verify that it's still the same with our VRN, our crew count. Next, we're going to have our area crabbed. As you can see, this is the same as the paper form where we have NOAA codes. Now we have our landing details. We want to verify that information has all been the same. If we move down the page more, we can see our gear details section. I'm going to enter in the number of crab pots I pulled today, which is 300. Our gear unit here for pots is set to each. However, if we we're trot lining, we could enter in the feet or yardage of our trot line. Now for the hours crabbing, I'm going to put in four and a half hours. And then we're going to put in the maximum crab pots on the water today, which was 500. If we move down a little further, we can see our harvest details section. Our first question is going to ask us, do we have harvest from this trip? I'm going to say yes. And how am I reporting my harvest? I'm going to do in bushels. However, you can change this to pounds. We move down the page even further. We have our crab categories. So how many bushels in number ones? I had two bushels. For number twos, I had one and a half bushels. For mixed males, I had zero bushels. And for females, I had one bushel. Note that our soft shell and our peelers are done by each. So for soft shell, I had a dozen, so I'll enter in 12. And for peelers, I had 30. If we move down a little bit more, 
we can see our market destination details page. So of all the crabs I caught today, it's going to ask you what percent are going where. So for me, 50% are going to restaurants, 25% are being sold to the public, zero are not going to be sold. And I also sold some of my crabs to a dealer. So I'm going to add in the number of dealers here. I'm going to put in one dealer. I'm going to click the blue proceed button. I'm going to move down a little further. I'm going to select my dealer from the list. Since my dealer is not listed, I'm going to click the other. And now I'm going to enter in the percent of my crabs that went to this dealer. So that was 25%. Now that I've reviewed my whole end tail, I'm going to click on the blue send trip end tail button at the bottom of the page. And this is going to take us back to our current trip details page. As you can see, we can revise any of our information up to midnight of that day. We can cancel our trip. However, as I mentioned, if it is harvest, you cannot cancel the trip. And if we're done, we can go back to our main menu and log out. Thank you for watching our video on how to report your commercial blue crab harvest using the FACTS e-reporting system. Please feel free to check out the rest of our videos to learn more about electronic reporting.